us today. We said that it's going to any number of places, but you decided to stop here. So we thank you. We bless you. We hope that you be comfortable. Keep your shoes off. breakfast for all children through the 12th grade and all adults who want breakfast, the price is only $3. This is the time that you get to get your devices out, pull your phones out, your tablets out, and check in and let everybody, let, let your friends and family know where you are, let your enemies know where you are too. Okay. Please share all flyers and upcoming CFCC events on Facebook or on your social media. Please share the live streaming message every week on your
inform them. Signed Apostle Eric Johnson, our Chief Apostle and Consecrator, Bishop Brandon Clark, Co-Consecrator Apostle Daryl Saunders, uh, and uh, General Secretary Elder Marcella McCrary.
and contacted us after the convocation and said, I want to be a part of this. Glory to God. Glory to God. Morning glory prayer made folk feel a way. It was feeling a way. Hallelujah. That's it. Um, we thank God. We love you. We're getting ready to, to begin our live. Uh, after our offering, we start our live. Y'all do me a favor. Uh, uh, Pastor Jones is going to minister and dance. Then the praise team is going to come. Then Bishop Clark is going to come. But I want us to start our live while Pastor Jones is preparing. I want us I want us to start our live with just an absolute crescendo of praise in here. When, when she gets up to minister, I want us to go on the air with just a cacophony of hallelujahs and praises. And, 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 and just, just get, can y'all do that for me? All right. All right. Now the officials are coming uh, at this time. The officials are coming at this time. For our offerings, um, I'm not. Y'all know all of the scriptures. Y'all know all of that stuff. Remember, Hallelujah, your obligations to our church hallelujah. and to uh, our offerings and such. Remember that church is not free. Now you can come in here at any time and get delivered for free. You can come here and get delivered for free. You can get healed for free. However the Lord is moving, you can get that for free. However, Griffin Power and Water, we can't get this for free. We can't get it for free. And I thank God for you. I love you. Those of you continue doing what you're doing. And those of you that are not, that's, it, takes a, it takes all of us to do the work that needs to be done. Amen. Deacon Sam Rowe is standing for all of your tithes and offerings. Uh, Trustee Parkey is standing for the Bishop's Love Offering today. Amen? Amen. So let everybody stand. We're going to pray real, very quickly. And after we pray, come and bring your offering. If you're giving electronically, make sure you say exactly the amount and what that amount is for. Amen? God of heaven, we thank you for this privilege that you have given us to present our gifts. We thank you for the gift and the giver. We thank you, God, because you've been giving us something to give. God, we thank you, God, because you love a cheerful giver. And we ask you to accept our gifts, not for the intrinsic valuation, God, but for the generous spirit in which we give and the cheerful spirit that you love. God, we thank you for 30, 60, and 100 full return. And we thank you for good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on.
even the folk that don't like us are watching. Amen. When a man's ways please God, Amen. he'll cause even his enemies to be at peace Amen. with him. Amen. Folk that don't like us and don't know why they watch every day. Amen. But they watch you. And not only are they watching us, they imitate us. They're too proud to say, Deacon, that's the reason I learned from you. So they just watch and act like they don't like you, but then they imitate you. Hallelujah. Let's bless God. Pastor, are you ready? Hallelujah. All right. Hallelujah. I'm just buying time. So. Hallelujah. Thank you, we're going to come on the air. Uh, we're going to go live. Uh, we're going to start our live. Amen. All the introductions have already been put up. I want us to come on right now. Yep. With the loudest praise you have right now, so we can go on the air with the
not always going to be like this. The tears you cried when you didn't have words to express how you felt. The Bible gave you a promise that said, they that so in tears. I wish I had a Bible reading church. Shall reap in joy. And as I heard the Spirit of the Lord, that the rest of your days are about to be the best of your days.
want to encourage you. I don't know where our apostle went, but I want to encourage you on today. That in this season, the miracle signs and wonders that you're looking for don't need to be money, houses, cars, or clothes. Right. Some of y'all going to be embarrassed because you've been dancing for a new car, but you don't pay your rent or your tithes. God's not a genie. If you can't budget 10, he'll never give you a millionaire. If you always late for work, you'll never be an entrepreneur because you don't got what it takes to serve as a local. Come on, now. But in this season, what you need to be seeking God for is God. Y'all miss that? Because see, with God, all things are possible. Money won't give you peace of mind. Come here real quick. Paul said, I've been broke and I've been rich. I've been hungry and I've been full. Paul said, I, I, I've, had, I've, I've lived on the top of the mountain and I dragged myself through the valley. I was He said, well, whatever state I'm in, Chapter Psalms has three different books. So chapter one and book one is not the same number as chapter one and book two. So preachers don't ever say Psalms chapter in the thousand of the service because I'm going to ask you from which book. And you better be right. Because I'll give you your whole message. You don't know me. Psalms 23. Uh, I know this is a very familiar passage of scripture, but would you do me a favor? And take new eyes to look at a familiar passage of scripture. Sisters, sis, don't burn my stuff now. Listen. <laughs> take new eyes and look at, a, at an old passage of scripture. Uh, would you read it with me? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down and drink. Can we read it together? He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff will comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The word of the Lord is already done. On your way to your seat, would you do me a favor and look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. I'm anointed, I'm anointed. For, the for the vow. God ain't got the right neighbor. Say, neighbor. showed up, I guess I'll let y'all listen in. Oh, uh, more often than not, pastors are overlooked over a hundred plus times a year. Uh, the pastor pours out between preaching and teaching Bible study. Now this does not include personal counseling sessions with rebellious members, but what amazes me about anniversary time is that after all the leader does for the people while trying to maintain their own Christian walk, working a full-time job, having a family, and trying to be the example, Ooh. folks have an attitude that leading comes without stars. Oh, oh, come on. Preach. Mm. <laughs> let, me give you this, let me give you this disclaimer. I did not come to make friends. I'm 235 pounds, so please don't try me when I get done. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. All right. yeah. Chill out now. Yeah. Watch it. You got to the corner. <laughs> <laughs> 
that everything is fine as long as uh, he has a word for the house, but when it comes time uh, to be poured into excuses, flow like running water. Uh, so today we have come to thank God uh, for the man of God that he has given to this house and to this fellowship. Amen. 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 Lord, 
I thank you that I don't, I don't, I don't have to have friends around me. Amen, amen. God, we ain't getting no preaching invites this, <laughs> the rest of this year. Thank you, Lord. Can I tell you something for all of you who are just excited about getting, being gifted? Watch this. The Bible does say that the gift makes room. Right. Yes, it does. Yes. And it will bring you before great men. Yes, yes. But now here's the problem with that. Is that after you get there, if you don't have the anointing, your character flow will get you kicked out. Oh, 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 Now I feel the breach coming on. Come on, come on. Uh, you need 
the anointing of the glory uh, in your personal life. Yes. Uh, it is the anointing yeah. uh, that will make you hold your peace yeah. and yes. let the Lord fight your back. Yes. It is the anointing that yes. will make you speak to folks that you know can't stand you. I wish I had the right church again. It is the anointing yes. today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, that will make you love your enemies. Yes. Yes, God. It's the anointing. Pastor Jones, uh, that will make your enemies your footstools. Yes. It is the anointing I wish I had. Yes. It's the anointing, the anointing that destroys the yoke of generational yes. earth. Yes. It is the anointing yes. of that, that will yes. lead your heart after you've been molested. It is the anointing. Yes. Get down there. I'm sorry. The anointing. It's the anointing. But too many of us want to be anointed in public places. Good God Almighty. And then we're private failures. We ain't got no prayer life. I can't pray for my neighbor because I can't pray for myself. There are not a to be here on today. We got to be anointed for the valley. Because it is in the valley that you find things out about yourself. Uh, gifted folks can handle what was designed uh, for for the anointed in order to make it through uh, your valley situation. Uh, we need to be anointed, Sister Bell. I would argue that the anointing um, is more so for the valley. Uh, 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 it is more so for the valley than you. You need the anointing more so for the valley than you do the public life. Yes. It is the valley experience that develops you. The valley that yes. tries you. It is yes. the valley that strengthens you. Yeah. It is the valley uh, yes. that brings you through. It is the valley. Develops your character, yes. the valley that brings you out. Valley. The valley yes. that helps you be proof. It is the valley. Somebody say, I'm anointed for the valley. I'm anointed for the valley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm anointed. I'm anointed for the valley. Not for public places. But the same, I'm not anointed for people. That right there. Oh God. But I'm anointed. Watch this. God gave me the anointing not for you. He gave it to me for me. Y'all missed that right there. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See that? That, that? that is why pastors are drained because the congregation believes that the anointing that God has given me, He gave it to me to give to you. If you want to be anointed, you got to go through what I went through. Yes! 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 That's revelation. We're living in a time where the number one occupation for suicide in this country are pastors. Yes! Yes. And you got the audacity not to want to come to church because you don't feel good. Ask the pastor if he felt like showing up this morning. Oh, yes, yes. Ask him how his week really was. Right. Come on. Right. And your, your, your hangnail kept you home. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Not the hangnail. Not the hangnail. The hangnail. Yeah, your, 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 your baby daddy and your baby mama got into it with you on Saturday night and you just told the straw about a decision you made to have unprotected sex and get somebody pregnant and have a child with them. Now you mad at them because you don't like the decision that they, y'all not going to talk to me and hear like that, but it's all right. It's all right. You're mad at the wrong folks. Uh -huh. And then you want to come in here and pull on a possible anointing. Come on. Not knowing that the anointing that you're trying to get from him, he really needs for himself. Yes. 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 I knew I wasn't going to get no eight man's day. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. See, see, see when you, when, when, it, it, it's fine for children uh, 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 to be fed yes, by their parents. Uh, but, but when the child has to start eating their own food, uh -huh. put their own fork in yes. the uh -huh. yeah, They don't want to eat so much of that. Uh -huh. But as long as you give them, y'all messed up right there yeah. in the spirit. Uh -huh. See, as long as the apostle is willing to, 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 to spoon feed you the gospel. The gospel. Yeah. You ain't gonna pick up your Bible. Yeah, so as long as your Bible is willing to hand you the prayers, you ain't gonna learn how to pray for yourself. As long as the Bible wants to tell you when to fast, you're not gonna learn how to fast. But the Bible tells you to pray for yourself when you call him at 3 a.m. Come on! Who do you think he is? Come on. Now you're ready to leave the church. You ready to leave the church? Because your anointing mm -hmm. was really just a heightened gift. Uh -huh. And you allowed church folks to tell you what God said you 
you were, and you never heard from God when you were supposed to be. I saw a 19-year-old apostle. I got in his inbox. I said, son, take that handle down. You don't know the first thing about being an elder. Come on. 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 Well, now they told me I was an apostle. Paul said I was an apostle from birth. Yet we understand that he was the number one persecutor of the church. That's right. That's right. That's right. And when you can't operate in your season, you'll miss the anointing. Yes. may not be the, the anointing you need in next season. Exactly right. And so the anointing will come and go but it's God. It's God. And you let go of my seat. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to end it now. I know y'all ready to go home. Take your time. Take your time. Come on. I hope somebody got me a plate. I need you to stay with me. Thank you, Lord. Good God about it. Psalms 23 is right in the middle of a spiritual valley. Thank you. Psalms 20, 23 is strategically placed between Psalms 22 and Psalms 24. Mm -hmm. In Psalms 22, that is the mountain of sacrifice. Yes. In Psalms 24, that is the mountain of reward. But Psalms 23 is the valley that connects the two mountains. I need to tell somebody as I get ready to go to my seat that you'll never make it from mountain top to mountain top until you learn how to lead. Ah! Like 
Thank you. 